Hi guys, my name is Peter and I just wanted to share you my test results with uh, the new Usa Mini Pro and some small SD cards, they are pretty cheap um, and there are some interesting things to say about it. So I was happy to hear about um, as the camera was rele released that the and she cannot only record on a, this expensive C2 cards so he can, she can use uh, our cheaper ones uh, like the SD cards uh, after that I checked the recommendation list from Blackmagic and uh, I was surprised to see the cards on the top are not really cheap but oh yeah there's cheaper than the C2 cards but uh, not at all that I'm what I'm looking for and because I don't have any um, cheaper ones, uh, um, fast uh, SD cards uh, for my cameras and I don't have any experience with these cards um, I was looking for a solution where I can just do uh, a ProRes uh, HQ um, at uh, 4K and some slow motion for small projects uh, like uh, uh, documentaries, uh, broadcasting uh, or music concerts and stuff like that. Anyway, um, I found this card from Lexa and if you go back uh, uh, on this list uh, we can see it's not the fastest one but it's cheap as it could cost 67 euro in Germany and um, um, that is what I'm looking for and I just bought uh, two of these um, and make some tests uh, with a camera just to see how far I can go and to be honest um, there was some pretty surprising results uh, they definitely uh, the cards uh, can do much more uh, like 1080p in 60 frames pro SHU uh, but now I'm going to stop talking I'm sorry about my bad English uh, and just I'm going to show you um, how the results are